biggest rivalry in the conference. It's one of the biggest rivalries on the West Coast. It's St. Mary's and Gonzaga. Usually we see it three times a year. Tonight, round one in the kennel. Student section back from a long holiday break. And yep, it was loud in the McCarthy Athletic Center. Rui Hachimura coming off the bench tonight and announced his presence with authority. Gets the spinner to go. Zags with the lead. And back and forth we go. Gales go to their All-American Jacques Landell. Finishes strong here. Gales retake the lead. Zags would answer. Nice ball movement to Silas Melson. He's going to hit the three. He had eight points tonight. And how about a little bit more from Rui? Gets a nice feed from Jonathan Williams. And yeah, brings down the thunder. Zags up four at the half. They'd extend it to nine. But here comes St. Mary's. No answer for Landell tonight. He gets the bucket to go. Gales would go up one late. So the Zags need a stop. You know where they're going to go. Still no stopping Landell. St. Mary's goes up by three. So last chance. Zags go to Hachimura at the buzzer. Just a little bit too strong. St. Mary's comes into Spokane. Knocks off the 13th ranked Zags. 74-71. Landell with 26 points. 12 rebounds to lead the way for the Gales. Our Alyssa Charleston was there. She has more from the kennel. No longer undefeated at home, no longer perfect in the West Coast Conference. St. Mary's had to play just about perfect if they wanted to beat the Zags in McCarthy Center tonight, and they nearly did it with an incredibly efficient night, especially from Jock Landell, a guy that the Zags had no answer for as they dropped their first game in a series with their longtime rivals. Jock Landell is a problem. I mean, he, he, he killed us. Um, they don't turn the ball over, uh, and, and their guys make open threes, and they make the right play uh, majority of the time. So if you mess up on defense, they, they capitalize on it. So I mean, it's a well-coached team. Uh, it's a great team um, with a really good big man and, and a really good point guard with a, with a great supporting cast. So I mean, it's a good team. They won it, but we'll, we'll see them again. And we had a couple empty possessions down the stretch there in the second half, and they didn't. You know, and they got they got a guy that they can throw it to that you know can really really deliver. And, and that was the difference in the game. We obviously knew it was going to be a, a tough game, but I think you know just having these games during conference is really good for us because you know some games you know might be a blowout, and then you know you got to you know keep yourself leveled and be like, yeah, we still got we still got work to do. So. Another first for the Zags will be figuring out a way to bounce back after a conference loss. They've only got one day to let this one sting, and then they've got the Santa Clara Broncos coming up on Saturday. Reporting in the kennel with the Zags, Alyssa Charleston, KXLY4 Sports.